Hey guys, welcome to this radio video. I just uh, posted a uh, video uh, showing um, communications on 5520 with airlines and this is one of the uh, many frequencies that you can listen to uh, airplanes actually and their uh, voyage to destination when they're mainly over the ocean. Uh, they use a lot of HF to communicate and uh, 5520 from what I've seen is uh, apparently Caribbean B route but um, there was some Atlantic uh, stations New York is part of the, the circuit so there's some stations actually uh, New York mostly what you hear in the video uh, if you've watched but I wanted to talk to you about a very good tool actually if you are into uh, airplane listening on your HF radio on your shortwave radio um, first I will post a video showing a few frequencies that um, depending on the part of Earth that you live Europe North America I'll uh, try to make some uh, kind of put a few key frequencies uh, so that you can try and listen to uh, these uh, airplanes uh, I think that pretty much everyone that has um, a good shortwave receiver you know even a portable one with an antenna an outdoor antenna and even maybe not even an outdoor antenna depending on the noise level you have uh, will be um, able to listen actually to uh, these airplanes and um, when you listen to an airplane um, if you go back to that video that I made, if you uh, want to try it out, there were lots of ID, ID on, on different uh, planes. And uh, basically the ID with the airline, for example, they'll say um, United for United Airlines or uh, Delta or Air France or the country of origin. And they're giving out afterwards a number. And that's the information you need the airline and the number and what it's going to do is that the airline and the number if you go to a great great website that's called flightaware.com and I'm going to show you here how it works by pointing the camera sorry I'm probably going to move a little bit here so mine is in French but uh, you'll have the same thing at flightaware.com so this is just type flightaware.com and it's going to bring you to this great great website and what you do is you enter the company and the number so for example a few minutes before the video aired I heard Air France so I'm starting Air France and then I click the uh, it offers me Air France here AFR I'll click there and the flight number was 423 so they ID'd as Air France 423 then you click the blue button next to it and it's gonna bring you a map and that map is gonna show you and as you see here the position of the plane so you see that it's Caribbean route because the plane is actually right down in the Caribbean right here so this is uh, pretty much real-time data and you can zoom in of course so that you can have a better look of where the plane is so when you hear the plane you know that when you heard the pilot talk he was talking from this area he was in the middle of the ocean right here so um, it's really cool because it lets you see where planes are when you're hearing them on the HF bands so um, what you could try out is listen back to my video where I posted so you just heard American 38 in the communications live here so what you do you go here on the left panel and you will put in that little box American American so here American Airlines and the number is 38 and here's American 38 so 
So this is where you see American 38 right here. So basically on the left side you enter the airline. So I just put American right there. Put the number 38. Uh, sorry, I think I didn't show it well in the, a few minutes ago. So now you see it. So you just put the airline, you put the number, and you press the blue button and it shows you on a map where the plane is. So this is where American 38 is right now. So it gives you an idea of the flight where the plane is, which is always cool because you know that you're listening to this airplane that's right here in the middle, next right to the east of Florida. So you see that it's a lot of the Caribbean route. So that's why it's called the Caribbean Route B uh, for 5520. So, uh, hey, flightaware.com. Go on that website, put it in your favorites, and uh, keep in touch when you're listening to the HF frequencies for um, airplanes. It's a great, great tool to know where the plane is and um, just uh, enter the numbers as you hear them. And what's cool is that they ID a lot. So, I mean, the plane, when it talks to the tower, IDs itself. And the tower will repeat the ID to make sure that they have the right plane. So if you're unsure of what you heard, you can listen to the tower and the tower is repeating so you can confirm what you heard or maybe change if you didn't hear it well. So um, this is another great tool and uh, I think it's a great, great place to go. And I've been having lots of cool comments about the uh, airplane frequencies and airplane stuff. So uh, why not? take your shortwave listening to another um, you know another area uh, there's not just amateur radio operators there's not just international broadcasters or pirates out there there's all sorts of stuff including uh, these uh, cool frequencies you can listen to uh, in North America 5520 as you hear is very very good at night 5598 is also a great frequency here So this is another great frequency to listen to airplanes 5598. So, so uh, take a look. I'll try to post tomorrow Sunday um, a general video giving you ideas of frequencies you should try for uh, to listen to uh, airplanes around the world uh, from the low low frequencies all the way up to frequencies that will be probably up to uh, maybe 18 or 17, 18, maybe 20 megahertz. So, uh, hope you'll enjoy that. So, uh, thanks for watching 73s.